Go! Go! Ha ha! Hey, that's all he's showing. Now, just to let everyone know, we are going to take a video of this right now as we post it to YouTube. It should keep you guys out of it, but it's just going to be recorded here. Anyone else like to learn? I think this is it. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Dan Hurt with Dan Hurt Prospecting. Welcome to Greenwood and Founders Day. Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to gold pan. Now, the first thing we need is some gravel, sand and gravel that might have gold in it. Now, we're really lucky here in BC. Many of our creeks and rivers have good, good gold in it. This sand here comes from Boundary Creek, which runs right behind us here, and Boundary Creek has a history of finding really good gold. So we're gonna put that in my pan. We're then going to get a bit of water in there and make sure that all the sand and gravel is nice and wet. Then we have to separate the sand and gravel from the gold. And the way we do that is we shake it. And shaking it sinks the gold to the bottom. Now, gold is heavy. Gold is really, really, really heavy. Way heavier, way heavier than anything else in the pan. And as we shake it, because it's so heavy, it will sink down through the gravel and sit on the bottom of the pan. After 10 or 15 seconds of shaking this, any gold that was in that gravel will for sure be sitting on the bottom. This top stuff is garbage. We can throw it away. We're going to get rid of the whole top layer. We're going to do that by dipping the pan in the water and then pouring it back nice and quickly. And that washes that top layer away. We'll do that three times. And then we're going to shake it uh, again for about three seconds just to make sure the gold is still sitting on the bottom. Then wash it three more times and shake for three seconds. We're going to keep shaking and washing, shaking and washing, shaking and washing until there's only a little bit of material left in the bottom. Oh, say about that much. We're going to remove a bit few of the rocks because we're not finding any nuggets today. <laughs> now let me turn this around so you guys can see. I no, you won't see any gold yet. You might see some pirate or fool's gold, but there won't be any gold yet. We're going to take this water and swirl it over. The first time we swirl it, it gets rid of all the sand, and you'll notice it goes black. The black, the black is iron. Iron is heavy. Yeah, this is iron sand, and it's heavy. That's why it's in the bottom. But gold is still way, way, way heavier than the iron sand, so the gold should be below that. This is all pyrite. This is fool's gold. Here's a piece of fool's gold for you. We'll keep swirling it. And underneath the iron is the gold. The gold is always the last thing in the pan because it's always the heaviest thing in the pan. Now, I knew I was going to find gold in there. Do you know how I knew I'd find gold? Because you had it in there. I put it in there. You're right. <laughs> yes. Would you like to find gold for yourself? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we have tubs of water, we have gold pans, and we have experts over there to help you out and to learn and do it for yourself. You get to keep anything you find, it's all free. Go give it a shot for yourself. Hi, future self. <laughs> Just a fan. Just a fan here at the Greenwood Founders. Okay, so here we are at Founders Day in Greenwood, BC, Canada's smallest city. We are teaching kids and kids of all ages how to gold pan. We've already had a few hundred people go through, and we're expecting a couple thousand more throughout the day. It's a great event. You can see everyone's loving what they're doing, and we're having a lot of fun. It's great teaching people how to gold pan. So, we have quite the display here for Gold Miners Alley at Greenwood Founders Day. We have all sorts of stuff. We have Frank here from... Ex ex no, what? Fra Frank from Exploring Abandoned Mines. Uh, Frank from Exploring Abandoned Mines with a bunch of his stuff display that he's found over the years. Oh, really neat stuff. And then we have Tommy who makes gold nugget jewelry. What's the name of your business? Lakeland Creations. Lakeland Creations. And he makes the most gorgeous, whoa, let's get in here. The gorgeous silver jewelry with gold nuggets all over it. We've got Davey here with uh, Chamber of Mines of Eastern British Columbia talking about all the mining in the area. 
got all our samples from the Chamber of Mines uh, that have Greenwood in front of them. And uh, we'd like to invite anyone to come to the Chamber of Mines in Nelson, British Columbia and see the rest of our samples. Excellent. Awesome. Of course, we have me doing teaching gold panning and all of the uh, gold panners over here helping out the public. We got my buddy Eric over here demonstrating some gold mining equipment. Right now he's got his sluice up and running and finding some gold. Boundary River Gold? Boundary Creek, excellent. We have Fred from Fred's Gold Mining in Kelowna. One of our favorite suppliers. He comes out to all of our fairs. Anything you want for gold mining, Fred from Fred's Gold Panning in Kelowna. We have Jack here with his rocks and gems. Jack is always popular because ooh, everyone likes shiny things. Jewelry, rocks and gems, carvings, all sorts. And over at the end we have Sam. Sam has all sorts of uh, wares for sale. Yeah, we got lots of stuff. Gold mining stuff, uh, antiques, a little bit of everything. A little potpourri of stuff. Now I need to mention that this whole event is made possible for, uh, by AMEBC, the Association of Mineral Exploration, British Columbia. They sponsor this event. Now we give away, this is all free for the public, all free. We give away, oh, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars worth of gold during this event, a lot. And because of AME and their sponsorship, we get to do this free for everyone. No one has to pay to a gold pan and they get to keep everything they find. And there's some people finding some pretty nice gold here today. Evan, are you finding some nice gold? I found a tiny piece. A tiny piece of gold? Excellent. But again, thanks to AME for your sponsorship. Show me again. And of course, myself and Barry over there helping are here representing the Boundary Mining Association, who is also a big sponsor of this whole event. Ten years previous, uh, I haven't been able to really break the 10 second mark to get gold out. <laughs> the trick here is when someone is timing, whoever is timing, uh, says go, I have to get in there, wash the gravel, and get it to the point where I see the nugget. My goal is around 10 seconds. I haven't done this since this event last year, well, Rock Creek last year, wow. so I'm, my practice is way off, but we're going to see what I can do. And yes, you don't want to stand there. Okay, here you go. Okay, someone's got a timer out? I did the timer out. Just a second. Three, two, one, go. Go. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Yeah, oh! Got <laughs> it. Break oh. 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 ten? 9.50. 9.50. There we go. Oh. <laughs> and you got your evening back. Oh, yes, I got a bit wet. <laughs> That's impressive. Gold is so That's heavy. Cool. So yeah, heavy. I'm not worried about losing it. Gold panning blindfolded. This is a challenge someone gave me on YouTube. It's a gold pan blindfolded. And I'm going to make a complete YouTube video of it. So if you don't want to be on YouTube, make sure you're not in the camera range. Now, Dad here has two flakes of gold. I have got a pan full of gravel. Alex has the blindfold over there. And we're going to go and see if I can recover these two flakes or at least get them visible in the pan without seeing a thing. So you want to show those two flakes off the camera? Monsters, they're not. Okay, let's put them in. Oh, no. Okay, so hopefully the camera's over there somewhere. Hi, camera. <laughs> let's see what we can do without seeing a thing. First, I have to find the riffle. There they are. And I'm not going fast because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just moving my thumbs down as I go so I can tell how much is in the pan. Is everyone laughing at me about this? There's a lot of grinning. Feeling the gravel coming out to make sure I'm still panning along the way. 
goes the big nugget. That must be uh, back washing time. Gold one? You can't tell me that. That's like cheating. <laughs> I have to go to the point where uh, I think there's visible gold, and then stop. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Let's see what I got. Ha ha! Two pieces of gold. <laughs> Completely blindfolded. My little helper. Yeah. Anyhow. And the one that doesn't want to be on video is now on video. I messaged you. I saw you over there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it yet. Before I sign off, I have to put a special thanks out there to AMEBC, Association for Mining Exploration. They support this event, they sponsor us, they give us a grant, and because of them, we get to promote mining in BC to the public. And thank you so much for your support. <laughs> What a day! Wow, was that an exciting, fun, eventful, busy day. We had so much fun. We're almost all, well, we're starting to pack up now. And we're all sitting around having a beverage at the end of the day, telling stories, telling lies, you know what we do, yeah. But we had a great time here at uh, Greenwood Founders Day. And uh, it was really nice giving back to the public, teaching the public, well, teaching kids of all ages how to pan and getting them excited about gold. I think we uh, sparked the fever in a few people today. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Thanks to everyone out there for your support. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, everyone.